I just want to share some ways that I go about um, turning turning animation that I'm working on in this free program called Pencil to, uh, to actually taking it into Illustrator and basically the whole idea is to get get, get this kind of like raw artwork to make it for a video game. So I'm just going to show the process. So here's this little animation I'm working with right now. I'm just going to um, create a keyframe turn on these two onions so I can see basically just see be in the middle I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this really quick so I'm just kinda like going be going in between you know the other two frames I mean this is ba this is called in betweening yeah in betweening so I'm just doing this you know really rough I'm just uh, I just wanna kinda like show the idea so And in case you're wondering, uh, I saved my beans and I have a, a Cintiq Wacom tablet, so it's it's really nice to be able to work with this for animation. You know, for saving a thousand bucks, it's it's absolutely worth it in the end because you don't have to do anything on paper anymore. So there's just uh, just looking at this real quick. It's just it's smoothing out the animation is really what this is doing. I'm gonna do another one real quick, and this is entertaining. Uh, I don't know if I need to do that right there. I don't see any other frames there, but I'm just gonna put it there anyway. I just watched this movie called Pirate Radio with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, I think his name is, and a bunch of all, a lot of other people. Uh, it's pretty good. Kind of got motivated just to actually draw instead of watching a movie. <laughs> yes, we're all lazy at times, you know, it's just sitting down watching a movie is a lot more easier than than drawing. <laughs> uh, missed a lot there. Alright, so you can see it's just kind of like it's really smoothing out the animation now. I'm just going to do this last little frame right there. Now there's a way, of course, that, you know, you see I'm drawing these circles constantly. If I were to put this, the, the main parts of the animation that aren't even moving, I would have put them on a different layer so I only had to animate the stuff that was actually moving. That would have been smarter but I'm not in the mood to be smart right now so I'm just kinda like doing this. Besides it's good to it's good to just draw and to just draw. Alright, let's Almost done. Okay. So I'm just going to set this loop. And I'm just going to have it play. So this is going to be one of those characters that just kind of like, uh, I don't know, go along like left and right, or up and down. It's just a character you have to avoid because he's got spikes all over the place. So, alright. I guess that's kind of cool. Like, you know, you could always adjust the frame rate if you want it to be faster or slower. I'll just bump it up to 30 frames a second and play. And, and he's uh, he's having a good time right there. So let's just bring it down to, I guess, yeah, 20 was fine. Whatever, inside a game, you could really adjust the frame rate to whatever you want anyway. But I think this is kind of like what I'm doing, or what I want to choose. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save as... I never save in this program, I always save as, and I always up the number by one. Uh, I've, I've had frames disappear on me, so this is just what I do to ensure that a brand new file and brand new data files are saved. So, pencil's great, but you know, it's got its little things. 
So, alright, um, so I have all of these different frames of animation, right, and now the next part is to, is to take them and to, and to build, basically, a sprite sheet. And a sprite sheet looks like this, so, uh, here's a good idea of what it's like. So think of it like a graph, right? Or like, you know, different tiles, you know, you got different tiles and stuff like that. But each of these frames, right, are going to... Um, what I want to do is I'm going to be copying this content right here and putting them into an actual frame here. So there's going to be the, all the different animation frames that are going to live in each box like that. So that's that's the next step. Um, now, you you know, if, if you're not familiar with what the process is going to be, I'm going to show you in a tiny bit, but if not, or actually in the, probably the second video, just because I don't want these things to run forever and, and I know, you know, I don't want to bore you. So you can just watch basically what you want, of course. But um, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and resize them and bring them into uh, into a tile sheet file, which is basically it's just a flat file. You know, it's just like a document, and uh, I'll probably use like Photoshop or something like that. Um, but you just put each you know thing next to each other, and we'll see how that goes. All right.